while I was taking my break, the idea came to my head because many I've, a lot of people have asked they'd like to make one larger. So I have come up with a method here in the last 15 minutes that we're going to try out live, not only live for the first time, but the first time ever for myself. And I'm just going to open this one up. Okay. These are all tone on tones. And this will be one of those that where are you? Right there, your bit right there. There we go. Just gonna get all nice, a nice neat stack. Okay. And I'm gonna use this one and this one. Some pretty reds and different colorful, really color colorful geometric prints. And I'm gonna make one double sized. I don't have a clue what size this will be when I'm done. I think it'll measure close to 80 by 84, something like that. This one is not going to be a fast one, that's for sure. So, what I'm going to do is just lay it that one there this one here and I'm going to alternate strips as I go so what I'm going to do I'm not going to do this isn't your typical jelly roll race quilt I haven't even decided on a name for it yet so I'm going to call it an elongated modified Bargello is what I'm going to call it so to start my first row, I'm going to cut one strip in half. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to take this strip and I'm going to sew these two pieces to each end of it. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to be trimming everything as I go. I will have to trim one end as I go to keep everything nice and straight, nice and even. Okay. So, I'm going to sew these two ends together. Try to figure out which one is the right side on that really light colored. It can be a little difficult to tell. Okay, I'm going to sew these two together. But I'm going to use 80 two and a half inch strips of fabric for this quilt top. This is going to be a big one. And then I'm going to sew the other half of this one. together. Right here. Okay, right there like that. Okay, so there's my first horizontal row in this quilt, although it'll probably end up being 80 wide and like 84 long, and the, the, the stripes will go from top to bottom. So there's one. Now on the next one, I am going, and I'm going to sew these, these long ones together as I go. So on this one, I'm actually going to cut a fourth of it off okay 
So I'm going to fold this in half again to the fold line, and I'm going to snip it right here. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up another one of these next to it. And I'm going to sew, oops, I need to snip that all the way, don't I? I'm going to sew this, this on one end and the, uh, the longer one on the other end. Making sure I trim off the selvages on this stop. and sew these two together. Okay. And then I'm going to sew my first two strips I've pieced together. Okay. There like that. Now I know on the end on the end that I end up <clears throat> my last end as I'm surging these together. I will have to, more than likely have to do some trimming, but that's okay. Here's the thing. This is off just a little bit, about a quarter inch, and that's okay. Once it's all pieced, I will use um, a ruler and a rotary cutter to trim this off even on this one end. So I'm going to bring this down here, and I'm going to keep adding. Next, I will add it to this one here that I, the last one I pieced. But as you can see, look what's going to happen. On this end, it'll all have all the solid, and then it's going to encase the colored, the beautiful colored strips inside the white. So, the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do the in half. So here's the two steps. This one I'll cut in half again. right there okay and then since there's double prints I'm not gonna do either of the colors I just did I will save those until I get to the bottom of my original packs that way I do not have two colors touching each two fabrics touching each other as I go down I hope that just made sense. I don't know if it did or not, but it's all good. So, <laughs> next it is going to be, I'm just going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, next I'm going to take that pretty pinky one and sew 
a half strip to each end. Do that. No, nope, it got the salvage. Just want to make sure I got the salvage off. That's all. Okay, that was my half strip one. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sew it right on to my original piece here. Honestly, I just came up with this while I was upstairs taking my break. So, so I'll alternate the whites, half strip and then one quarter and three quarter strip on each end. And that's how I'm going to do this entire jelly rolls. Two jelly rolls, one queen size quilt top. this is going to give a really nice negative space on each edge of the quilt from the, the cream to do some really beautiful quilting in. doing here. I'm staggering it. Okay. So next will be this one. And it doesn't get trimmed. Only the off the back what I'm gonna call the background strips are going to get trimmed. Okay. This one will be quarter of a strip, one-fourth of a strip, open it up, fold it to the fold line approximately, and give it a snip. Then I'm going to sew this to the one I just stitched on.
you can see that one that strip happened to be way shorter so like I said after this is all sewn together I will use a ruler and a rotary cutter to straighten the one side up this side that I'm doing will be nice and straight okay so next now I can move these two over This one's next. And that was a quarter and three quarters. So now I'm going to do a half cut. ready to sew on. Try to snip those two apart. <laughs> there we go. is a quarter and three quarter inch but this time I'm going to flip it and put the three quarter up here and the shorter one at the very end just to change up so they're not all lining up together okay because on this end I'm getting a much wider negative space than this end so I'm going to flip it flip it around every so often now and just kind of mix that part of it up okay so this one's next and this is going to be a quarter and three quarter So the quarter inch strip on first, by quarter I mean a fourth of a jelly roll strip. It's going to go first. It doesn't really matter. 
Then on this end, I'm going to put the three-fourths of a Jolly Roll strip. But on this one, I'm going to sew the longer white piece on first. So now, as you can see, what I've done by changing which end I sew it on, it changes how this looks on this end. See? So that's what I'm doing. I'm alternating the long and short ends for every other pair that I sew on, every other strip that I sew on. So just did that one and this one. Now I'm going to let me think. There's a nice bright red one there. That's pretty. Okay. So this is half and half. Half a strip on each end. and half but that's okay so what I did I sewed the back of this as a front and I do I want that doesn't matter meh 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 it doesn't matter it's all good only because this fabric is so light the stuff here is it's really not going to matter I hadn't said anything, no one would ever notice it on that fabric. Okay. Okay. Then this one is going to go right here.
just so everybody knows I can't see the chats because my chat window has frozen so just so you know that I'm not ignoring you but I know on my break um, I was able to look at it somewhere else and I could see all chit chat This is going to be a colorful quilt. Okay. so good. <laughs> Oi. Okay. So next is going to be a quarter and a three quarter cut strip on each end. And I'm going to flip it so the quarter of the strip attaches to this my big piece this time. And I'm going to flip that each time I do that one. There's that. This one is next. Oh, I just messed that up. It was a quarter. And I just cut that one in half. So I'll do that one on the next one. I need a quarter and a three quarter inch strip on this one. Not inch, a three, three fourths of a strip. Come on, open sesame. Come on. There you are. Now, I'll fold this one to the fold line and snip it. Okay. So these two together. Then the other one onto this one here. A little bit of a hand cramp. It's too early to be getting those. I got a lot to do yet. <laughs> this is quilt top number five today. If anyone's counting. doing the shorty in first on this one. Come on shorty, get up there. There you go. All right. Excuse me.
Yeah, it's getting a little bit of weight to it. It's wanting to not move as easily, so I'll have to put it in my lap. There we go. Much better. Mucho better. Da 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 So So next will be the half the half cut strip right here, half and half. First these are gonna come over here. Right there. This one's next. Here's my two half pieces that I snipped. There we go. Okay. And right here. Need to clean up my bird's nest over here. I have a mess. A serger trimmering fiasco. <laughs> I'm just going to do that right now. There we go. start with the long one this time. No, nope, it doesn't matter because these are both halves, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that's right. These are the halves. interesting. Oh well, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's gonna look good.
opened up. Okay. Now, now I will put the long edge first on this one. Going to cut a quarter strip and a three quarter strip for this one. Oh, come on, you. There we go. Fold it in half or a quarter. other end I'll put the three quarters of a strip. Three fourths of a strip. Okay. There like that. Okay. That's what I thought. start with the three quarters. Keep on keeping on. Keep on surging on. Woohoo. Alrighty. Then next, let me see something here. Yep, that is correct. Okay, next is going to be one I cut in half for my background. So that's this. I'm just going to cut it in half. There's that. 
Then this can move over. And this can move over because we just did these two. And there's our next two. Well, hot diggity dog, I don't want those two next to each other. So what am I going to do? <laughs> I will just shift one or the other down. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to shift these two right here. I'm going to flip them. There we go. Is that what I want to do? Not really. What's going on next? I'm going to leave this one alone and flip the blue one to a different print that I can cope with. There we go. Okay. Right? Right. Okay. So, next to this pretty orange and yellow and red, I really kind of dig that one. <clears throat> and I'm going to do a 50-50, half and half on each end. Okay. We'll get this in started. Yeah, pieces and on my tri baby lock triumph serger. Woohoo! What a perfect way to spend a snowy Saturday night, right? I'm being totally serious. Works for me, that's for sure. Had several people ask me how could they make this jelly roll quilt bigger and this is the best solution I have come up with so far.
pretty cool. I'm digging it so far, that's for sure. Okay. So my next is going to be a short one. A shorty and a a quarter. Let me say this, make sure I say this the right way. A one quarter and a three quarter piece of strip. It's this, so I'll open it up, fold it one end up to the fold line. Right there and cut it. Okay. Now, this is the next one on the price is right. Right here. There like this. full one on this end. I mean not a full one, a three-quarter, three-fourths of a strip on this end. Okay. start with my little short piece here. This one here. Right? Right. on this one now. Woo-hoo. Yeehaw. Everybody, if you like what you're seeing, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell by the, the subscribe button to get instantly notified when I schedule more live YouTube events. of fabric there. So I can put these two over here now. Okay. So 
So when I get down to this, I'm halfway done. <laughs> and I've got one, two, three, four more, eight more strips to sew onto this piece, and it will be halfway done. <laughs> okay, so next is a half and a half, a 50 50. So, what is here? And I'm going to do this one next. And this one I will cut right down the middle, a 50-50, two and a half inch strip. Okay, I'm going to sew it at each end to this strip. are wanting to cramp for some reason. That's not good. It's too early. I'm only a little over halfway through this live stream, so behave. <laughs> I'll have to go take some ibuprofen or something, I guess. See now, 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 now. <laughs> okay. So, I gotta trim some of these because it's gonna drive me insane. Or do I? Nah, I'll leave them on there for now. Okay. Now, this one. Straight. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need me a, a drink of Diet Pepsi. And 
check a couple things right here. I'm still not getting updated chat for some reason. What if I popped it out? Would that help? Oop, that may have fixed my thing. Oh, okay, that worked. Okay. Hi, Beverly. Yes. Everybody. No, Linda. Linda, it doesn't matter which end you put the quarter and three quarter inch strip on. It really doesn't matter. Because you're just going to flip them. I've just been flipping them is what I've been doing. Oh, Donna, right now I am making, using two 40 strip jelly rolls to make a queen size quilt top. It'll measure approximately 80 by 84, something like that. And it's kind of a Bargello style, but it's not a true Bargello. They're just large strips. Yeah, so once this is over with, I will take some good shots of all these quilt tops, but there's no way to do that here tonight. <laughs> That's just not possible. <laughs> so next I am going to, okay, that was a 50-50. So next I'm going to do a quarter and three quarter cut strip, and I will put the three quarter on right up here first because there is a one quarter right there. So I'm alternating them. That's what I'm doing. Let's see here. This is the next color on the price is right. Right here. Okay, and I'm going to do a quarter and three quarter, right? Right. So for a quarter and three quarter, you open up a strip, there's the fold line, fold it in half up to that fold line and give it a snip. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy. Then fold, that was the quarter strip. Here's the three quarter strip. start with the three-quarter though because I use the one-quarter first on the previous stitch down of this scenario so as you can see there's a quarter inch strip oops move this out of the way so what it is is there's a quarter and a half, and now I'm going to do a three quarter, and then a half, and then a quarter. You get it? I'm just alternating. That's what I'm doing. Super easy. 
I like it. I like everything when it's easy to do for this kind of stuff. That's for sure. Okay. Next will be a 50-50. next fifty fifty just cut it right on the fold line a strip on each end of this one. Doesn't matter at all where you start. Just want to make sure you do a wide enough stitch so the salvages are cut off. Which means about half an inch. That's usually enough to get the salvages off. Okay. Then, since it's 50 50, there's no strips to flip. <clears throat> and we're just going to start up here at our nice straight edge and sew it down.
and another one stud. Not the quilt top, just a strip. <laughs> but it's starting to get bigger. Okay. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen strips sewn across, which is basically two jelly strips. Basically, it's two jelly strips down each one of these long rows. Okay. So that was that one. This one is next. This is a quarter and a three quarter strip. Okay, we're going to trim. first doesn't really matter but it was just what was on top <coughs> excuse me <coughs> then on the other end of this one I'll put the three-fourths of a strip and sew it on It is time for a quarter. First. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try to sew this strip on. I'm going to go take some <coughs> Advil. weather is playing havoc on my back. Okay. Once I get to the halfway mark, I'm going to do the other half as a separate unit so I don't have all that bulk.
now surger thread again. How far back do I gotta go? <laughs> yeah. One of my loopers ran out. It's not happy. Holy Toledo. How far back do I got to go? <laughs> I think it's wow, I gotta go way back. <laughs> Is that right there? I think that's good there. Hold on. Gotta go to right here. Okay. So I'm going to restitch that one because I wasn't paying attention and my one of my looper threads ran out. <laughs> So, let me go grab another cone of serger thread. Oh, oh. Okay. There we go. And we'll just get this puppy threaded right back up. Okay. Upper looper this time. Okay. quick and there we go da -do -da -do -da -do. Woo okay. come on you get all my threads all the slack out of them and I just unthreaded one of my needles thank you so much Richard <laughs> but never fear baby lock is here <laughs> okay so let's see if I can do this No, I can't, so that's why we have this little jewel. And it's threaded. Sometimes I try to thread it the old fashioned the way I used to before I had the air threaders on the Triumph, but you know what? I'm just not going to do that anymore. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, here we go. Ready to rock and roll, so to speak. Now, where do I need to pick this back up at? About right here.
Okay. Now we're rocking and a rolling. Perfect. Okay. And that was a quarter, so next is a half and half. Let me just finish this one and this one. So I'm just going to mix these two up by turning that upside down. Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So this will be a 50-50. Fifty fifty means I cut a strip in half. Okay. And then that will go right on to here. Rod Joe. Ten four. So the next will be a quarter, three-quarter strip, and I will put the three-quarter strip at the beginning this time. Okay, so that was that. This is this. Rajo. Rajo. Quarter, three-quarter. Quarter and three-quarter strip. One fourth of a strip and three fourths of a strip, however you want to say it. <laughs> okay. And I just did that again, so I will cut another one. <laughs> that was a half and a half. 
Okay, a quarter of a strip. Right there. A fourth of a strip. And that leaves me three fourths of a strip. Okay, now we're good to rock and roll. Okay, so here's my little quarter piece. And this is my three quarters piece going on. Yes, right there like that. Nope, this piece. It's a salvage end. I'm going to sew the three quarters on first, right? Right. There is a quarter inch strip, so half, a quarter of a strip, a half of a strip, and now a three quarters of a strip. Okay. So, next is, let's see, I just used these two. Yeah, I really don't want those two next to each other, but I guess I will. Eh, it's all good. It's all good. Half and half is next. Half and half. I already have that one cut half and half.
in half. Half of a strip and half of a strip on each end of a full strip. Half and half. <laughs> I'm getting giddy, everybody. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. I am like severely caffeine crashing. That's what it is. I get that way when I am like, I have zero caffeine in my system. Not pretty. So when I finish this one and the next one, I'm going to take a break, make some coffee, Whew, you get the drill, and then we'll come back, when I come back I will do the other half of this, this quilt top and we will have number five complete. Really number five is like two of these. So really this one could be considered two quilt tops, but we're not going to do that. This will be number five, which means by midnight, Central Standard Time, I have to make at least three more quilt. It's only 5.13 here. No problem. No problema. Piece of cake. Ooh, I still have birthday cake. No, I dare not. pure sugar. I do not need that. I'm good. I will not do that. I will probably have Greek yogurt after after mi about around midnight or so tonight. Actually, I will take a dinner break after I finish this quilt completely. This quilt top I'm working on take a break and have some good old homemade chili because that sounds really good. I tell you what, this one has given my arms a workout, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. I'll have arm muscles I never thought I could get back after this quilt top. <laughs> okay. Okay, one more, then break time. One more strip, then break time. And this will be a what? This will be a quarter and a three quarter strip. So, I'm not gonna mess this one up. I really didn't mess the others up because I was able to go ahead and use them, but I need to cut a quarter of a strip open Match the edge to the fold line, snip, and now and sew that those two pieces to each end of this. Okay. This is a this this fabric reminds me so much of summer because it's got all those nice bright colorful patterns and stuff in it. Just reminds me of summer for some reason.
This reminds me way more summer than looking out the window behind me, that's for sure. Because it is snowy, 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 snowy. So, I need to start off with a quarter, the quarter strip on this, this go-round. Right? Yes, quarter strip. Shorty goes on first on this one. to the end of this strip. Woohoo. Woohoo. Right. I can already taste that cup of coffee. I need caffeine. The Diet Pepsi just isn't cutting it. I need my real coffee caffeine. Real. <laughs> Here we go. We're almost there. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Alright. Perfect. So, this is half of my quilt top, right there. It's 20 strips, and remember for this one here it's just 32, so I'm not sure what size that is going to be, but it will probably have to be a quilt where this, the this here would be the top edge of it up like this, and the stripes will probably run that way. Okay, so put these two on here. What happened there? Okay, whatever. So there we go. Now, this is for the second half of my quilt. When I return from my break, <laughs> Folks, I'm having to get up and stretch my legs and my back because my back is getting fired up. That's that's all this is, just so you know. So, where is my chat window? There it is. It was hiding on me. <laughs> yes, my little Triumph Serger sports car. 
a little Triumph sports car here, you will get a good, good cleaning. But this night is over, I promise. Okay, so. <laughs> Tanya, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm in, I am seriously struggling. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> it is rough, yes. Let me get some coffee down the hatch and I'll be better. Awesome. Oh, Marion, yes, I'm exhausted. I will actually, my back is really flared up. So I will be taking possibly two muscle relaxers when I turn in tonight. And I'll sleep until noon or one in the afternoon or something like that. I don't know. I say that now. Sometimes when I take those, have to take one of those things, I don't sleep hardly at all, so we'll see. I'm thinking I've blown through <laughs> a lot of my pre-cuts, so I'm thinking ahead of this one. I have my bag of strips. I have that bag of strips would make at least four more of these. Plus, I have a packet, a jelly roll of batiks. I have a package of layer cakes laying over there. And a package of... Another package... Oh, I have a bunch of fat quarters. I could cheat and just make one quilt top out of nothing but fat quarters. Hmm. That just might happen tonight. <laughs> I wonder what that would look like. Has anybody ever done that? I've never done that before. That might be a first for tonight. I'm, <laughs> it will depend where my number is at. <laughs> I will have eight quilt tops done before midnight, preferably nine. Okay. So I'm going to get started again. Now, here is my half of a quilt top. And where did I lead off? Did I lead off with a quarter? Correct. So that means I need a, a half half for this next this next one needs to start with a half and a half, and then it'll be good to go. Now these, since I pulled these off in order, my other half of the strips, I'm going to flip it back here and start again. Is that what I want to do? I am not sure. Yes, I am sure. That is what I'm going to do. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So this is I'm thinking do I want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. 50/50. It's going to be a 50/50. We'll see how I feel in about four hours. <laughs> I'm good at least until 10, okay? <laughs> I am determined to do this. Okay, so here we go. Half on that end and half on this end. That doesn't look right. What happened? You know what? It's all good. That was a serendipity moment. I think it's more like a third and two thirds. But you know what? It's all good. 
I'm going to let it fly. Okay. Then I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do a quarter and a three quarter, and I'm going to lead with the three quarter. When I say lead, I mean I'm going to, that's where I'm going to start sewing at when I sew the two strips together. So, quarter. And three quarter. Hey, at least I didn't mess that one up. The caffeine's already starting to kick in. Okay. Quarter. And three quarters. The measurements on this aren't right. I'm going to add more to the top and the bottom of it to make it where I want it. Since I have zero of this fabric, if I have to do that, I will have to get creative in my in my in my story. Fifty fifty. Okay. The second half, I'm going to mix it up just a little bit occasionally, like right now. <clears throat> okay, 50 50. I'm not even going to look at the other half because I don't want this to even remotely match it. I want it to be a little different. That adds to the serendipity of the whole piece. This one, since that's a 50 50, it doesn't really matter as far as which side I start with. If 
right now my chat window is working again, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Woo wee. And we're gonna keep on a rolling, keep on a surgeon, making them quilt tops. This is quilt top number five that we're on. The next one I make is going to be one of these styles out of my scrap bag. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna randomly pick a, a two and a half inch strip out of my scrap bag and not plan it one bit. And it's just going to happen like it's going to happen. So the others I've made like this tonight, I have actually grouped colors together. When I do this next, the next quilt after this one I'm working on, it is just going to be the most random collection of fabric you've ever seen because I will not look in the bag when I pull a strip out. I don't know, there's probably a, at least, there's over 200, at least 200 strips in that bag, at least. Okay, you hear that one, and then I'm going to do this one. And this would be a quarter and a three quarter inch cut strip, right? Yes, and I'll lead with the quarter inch this time. The quarter, the fourth of a strip is what will be my lead strip. So I reached for my scissors, I was gonna snip it in half. <laughs> Okay. Right on the fold line. And I did snip it in half. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I snipped it in half. So I'll save this for the next one. And now I'll do the fourth of a strip and the three fourths of a strip. How many times have I done that on this quilt? I don't know. I have lost, totally lost count. <laughs> but it's all good because it'll work out in the end. There we go. Okay. So. Now we're going to do this. And down here we'll do this. Come here you. Don't you try to run off. You're getting sewn into this quilt. You, there is no escape. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Now, then we'll start with a quarter. That's the short end there. Right there. Don't fall on the floor, please. Not yet. Let me get you all lined up first so you can be sewn in. You want to be part of the group. And you are. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, now it's a part of the group. It belongs to the family. It belongs to the fabric family.
another one bites the dust. 16 more to go. There's four sewn together. <laughs> I'm in countdown mode on this one. <laughs> this one is Kiki My Butakis. Let me tell ya. <laughs> The next contestant on the surging strip is right. Okay. So this will be a 50-50, which I've already cut from the last go-round erroneously. But we're going to use it now, so waste not, want not. Right? Right. That's right, Richard. How right you are. <laughs> Oh, please, more caffeine. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Hey, Puffy. I hear your jangles. What you doing, Bobo? Where you at? Come here. There you are. Come here, sugar. Come here. I haven't given you much loving today. Come here. Yes, yeah, my good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, I know. We'll play later. Okay? Yes, you're a good dog. Yes, you are. Okay. Daddy loves you. Oh, gosh. He went to get his rat baby. Puffin's favorite stuffed animal is his rat baby. It looks like a rat. And he talks to it and carries it around like it, like it is his baby. He doesn't try to... The, one of the few toys he has tried, he has not destroyed, is his rat baby. He loves his rat baby. He loves it so much we had to buy a spare to keep it a cupboard and say, in case something happens to that, that one. <laughs> So when I get this one done, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my tote bag full of all those two and a half inch strips, and I'm just going to keep my eyes shut and pull them up and count out 40 on the table, and those are the 40 that will be in the next quilt top. There could be Supermans in there. There could be cows. There could be kitties. There could be beautiful florals. There is no way to tell. And what it is, is what it will be. We'll just call that one our mystery quilt for tonight. That will be our mystery quilt. Oh, it's 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Only six more hours to go. Woohoo! I'm so excited. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> okay, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> okay, so this one's going to be next. And let's see, that was a 50 50, right? Yes, so the next one is a quarter and a three-quarter. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Here will be the quarter, and the rest will be the three-quarter. Okay. We're doing 
a strap. Flip that around to the salvage. quarter this time, right? Let me look at this. No, 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 no. I'm going to lead with the three quarter this time, right? Right. Okay. just shift off right off of the table. I tell you, if you put a rotary cutting mat by your machine or whatever, it will not, nothing slides on that, even with vibration. Yes, little puffin is the first York Yorkie I have ever owned in my life, and boy, I have certainly been—I have certainly missed out because he is probably the most intelligent dog I've had the honor of having in my life. He is—he is smart. I mean, he is so smart. I'm not saying that because he's my dog. But he is a smart little animal. I don't know where where some vets will say, "Oh, a dog's a memory only lasts for like fifteen or twenty seconds." No, not this one. No. <laughs> Fifty fifty. Okay. We'll go with that. I like this one. I do like red. It's a cool color. Well, I don't mean Temperature wise, it's not cool. It's a very warm color, but I like that color. I like red. Red just makes, whether it's in home decorating or in a garment or on a quilt, it makes it makes everything else just pop. This one doesn't matter, just stitch it, stitch it down and 
get it done. Let's just get it done. Get it done, Richard. Oops. Drop my end. There we go. Okay. Okay. What on earth did I just do? Oy vey. So, I have to cut this because it's the wrong side. <laughs> and then I'll just restitch it. And keep on moving. It's no biggie. There we go. There's where it should be. And we're back. Easy peasy. Something tells me I may have to do it on the other end too. If I do, it's okay. No big woo. Nothing to fret or freak out over. Things happen at a cocktail party. Just go with the flow, have fun, and don't worry about it. Nope, that one's right. That first one I sewed on backwards. Nancy, I honestly believe he does he does try to talk sometimes. I'm waiting for him to actually s talk to me as a human. But it is hilarious some of the things he figures out on his own. looking to get a second Yorkie to keep him occupied <laughs> and company here in this big old Victorian mansion and which is also our shop yeah it's it's a lot of space for just one little dog to run around in and I think he would love to have a playmate so we are viewing those possibilities okay do this one next and next is will be a quarter and a three-quarter and the quarter will be up here at the top okay quarter and three quarter. There you okay.
there's the shorty. That's what I'm going to start with. See, personally, I like to have <laughs> three or four Yorkies, <laughs> uh, but my better half won't agree to that one. Maybe one. <laughs> I mean, one. Puffing can be a handful at times, but it, it couldn't be any, I can't see that it would be any, once you have one, if you have two or three or four, it just, I don't think it'd be any difference as far as that goes. His little stuffed, his baby, his rat, his rat baby, that's what we call it. He grunts and talks to it and cleans it and licks it like it really is his baby. So I think he would do well with another one. Until COVID is over, there's no, I don't see any sense in getting another dog. <clears throat> or at least until the vaccine's more widely dispersed. do that one right there. Okay. This one will be next. Right here. And that was a quart. So this is a 50-50. Half and half. Half and half. Half on each end. Good point, Linda. <laughs> I won't even tell you what our yearly vet bill is just for little Puffy. But <clears throat> he's worth it. And that's all I'll say on that one. don't think he would like a cat. And that's why we really haven't thought about that. Plus with all the yarn <laughs> and everything in the shop, can you imagine? 
a kitty would just go it would be in it would be in cat heaven in this place <laughs> had thought about that as well. I just don't think because he is a terrier and you know they're little hunters. I don't think that would go over. cut his hair except once a year he goes to a groomer and he gets a schnauzer cut for the summer okay hi Marion hi Kathleen howdy okay I am working on quilt top number five. It's about three-fourths of the way complete. Back here behind me are the four I've already done today. Just a notch. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay. Whew. I'm going to have a, put a little more caffeine into my system. <clears throat> this is it just turned six, so that would be. This is hour number 12, I think. No, it's not, 10. Been doing this right now for a little over 10 hours. We'll be on here until midnight Central Standard Time tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> awesome <laughs> okay so next is going to be a quarter and a three-quarter split and I'm going to do which fabric am I going to do next let's see here I'm gonna do this one next quarter three-quarter split Quarter, three quarter split. Okay. Fold it in half to the fold line and then snip the top. There's my quarter of a strip and my three fourths of a strip. I'm just going to sew them to both ends of this one. Doesn't matter which one goes where at this stage of the game. Okay. Okay. And the three quarters. I just want to make sure I line up the actual selvage edges and trim that off while I'm surging them. This one will be the three-quarter starting at the top. This one. Okay.
Okay, so my next one will be a 50-50 split on the off-white fabric. And do that red one next. We'll do a 50-50 split. Snip it right here at the fold line. There we go. My eyes were playing tricks on me. My southern accents came out a little bit more than usual over the last few days because I started watching the entire series of Designing Women again, and that always does it to me. <laughs> yeah. I just love Suzanne Sugarbaker. Love that character. <laughs> and she is a character. Oh my goodness. She is something else. Keep on surging on. Woohoo! the family of fabric straps. Whoop de doop doo Yeehaw. That pile of strips available keeps getting smaller. So the next one would be what would the next one be, Richard? It would be so there's a half, a three quarter, a quarter and a three quarter, quarter at the top. Want to at the top. Oops, hold on you. Do I want you yet though? Yeah, you'd look good there. You can come there and play, I guess. Let me see here. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Okay. 
So quarter and three quarter. Quarter and three quarter. Ten four. Get back up there. And the quarter goes up to the top on this one. You definitely don't want those scissors to come off the table and land on your foot. <laughs> that could require, they are so sharp, that could possibly require an emergency room visit. I sliced my hand open on them one time. This bad boy going here. Okay. There's that one. Woohoo. I'm going to count and see where we're at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Eight more to go. And then I'll sew the two halves together. And this one will be a part of Surgathon history. Okay. So this will be a 50 50.
this one's ready to stitch down now. funny feeling start to it, but it's good. did it again. I ran out of a cone of thread. Wow. <laughs> so, and that is the lower looper this time. Alrighty then. So let me just get this chained off a little bit. There we go. Now. Now. get another cone of thread and put in our beautiful triumph searcher. Okay. <sighs> oh. Er. for lower and there it is threaded with the push of a button isn't that just amazing as many times as I have used my baby lock searchers every time I push that button to thread the loopers I'm just amazed every single time okay Every single time. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now I will start this seam over where I ran out of one of my looper threads right here. And we're back on the road again. It's that easy. Easy peasy. And baby and baby lock has like six, I think, sergers in the lineup that have the air threading. I don't know, sometimes I just do that force of habit. Because the knife on the serger will trim all that for us. There's 
another one attached. Oh, Nancy, you don't go back. You can't go backwards on a serger. So, what it is, <clears throat> they are locked. So, since I know I'm going to be sewing down the edges of them this way once I start quilting, you do not have to do that with a serger, no. You can't do it with a serger. That's only on a sewing machine. Okay. Where is my top piece? It's right here. And this is going to be a quarter and three quarter. I will lead with the three quarter. That would be this one right here. Yes. You may just need to get a new blade, Linda, <clears throat> because if you've hit pins or anything like that, it happens. I've done it, and yeah, that'll totally ruin the edge of a of a cutting blade on your serger. You can get those from any baby lock retailer. to be very careful anymore when I have stuff pinned to not cut through it on the, the serger knife blade. After you have to replace a blade a couple of times because of that, you'll learn not to do it, trust me. <laughs> okay. That's not right. Do you see what I just did there? I put a 50-50 on and I needed I needed a quarter so I'm not going to put that one on next so let me have a look see here I will put on mm -hmm. I'm going to put one of these on from the bottom of the pile next okay I'm going to put on this one with a quarter and three quarter cut strip. If I remember, I get to jabber John and I totally lose track of what I'm doing as far as the cutting part. <laughs> I wouldn't think fleece would dull it. I really don't. I don't know. I mean, over time, any of them will dull as far as that goes. Okay. I honestly don't know if you can just have the blade resharpened. I would probably just put on a new blade if it were me. When you buy one of your one of the baby lock sergers, it comes with an extra blade, just in case. You do what I did and run over a straight pin with it and have to replace it. Okay. Now I want to do. I'm going to do the three quarters on the top. Okay. Right? Right. Three quarters 
other strip on top. to the strip. Okay. And next would be a 50-50, which I've already made from a previous boo-boo. Right here. Yes, this is number five. This is quilt top number five, but it's a big one. This one should count as two, because it's twice as big as these others. <laughs> Yes, this has this is the largest one that I am making tonight. <laughs> uh, I used two 40 strip jelly rolls. Total of 80 strips for this quarter. you last night the plows were out almost all night there hasn't been one plow go by today and it's been snowing pretty good since noon I don't think that's a good sign <laughs> I don't think we'll be going anywhere for a few days we'll see <laughs> we'll see <laughs> okay next would be a what would it be 
that would be a this is time for a a quarter three quarter with the one quarter on top Do this one next. Okay. So quarter, three quarter. Right there. Three quarter, that's right. Okay. Some of these, it's hot, this this light colored fabric, it is like white on white or cream on white or whatever. Sometimes it's really hard to tell which one is the right side. Okay, there's that one. And then I'm going to do a 50/50 next. So I'm going to multitask and hope I don't mess stuff up by going ahead and prepping my next one as well. So I'm going to do this one next. Right here. Right? No, I'm not. I'm going to do this one next. Right here. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. This would be a 50-50. Fifty fifty. There we go. On this one. Okay. So first I'm going to put this one on quarter on top. Here, like so. <laughs> okay. And we're off.
Okay. to sew right back on right here and it's a 50-50 this was a quarter and three quarter so here's a 50-50 do 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 This one here, oops, right here, er, right there, right there, <laughs> that is called a rail fence, if that's what you're asking about, Dolores. It's real easy to make, super easy. That was just made out of one jelly roll of fabric. Dip those. There we go. Let go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Keep on surging on. <laughs> Woohoo. Surge O Rama. Okay. It's getting so close to having the second half done. And then all I have to do is sew the two halves together, and this one will be considered complete. Okay, I have one, two, three more strips to go. Oh my goodness. So let me see what I have here. I want to put in a Which one do I want here? This one is next. Ten four. And next is a what? What is next? It is a quarter, three quarter, with a three quarter at the top. Okay, quarter, three quarter, quarter, three quarter.
quarter, three quarter, with the quarter at the top. would be this one which is a half and half woohoo it's seven o'clock central time five hours to go woohoo it's all downhill from here it's just gonna fly by Okay, so this is the, it's for this one, the 50-50. Come on, come on. Okay, 50-50. Fifty-fifty, and then this one will be a quarter and a quarter, a quarter and three quarter for this one. This is the last one. I'm just going to go ahead and get them pre-made. Quarter and three quarter. Quarter and three quarter. This one's next, and this is a this is a quarter three quarter. Which one goes first? It would be the three quarter at the top on this one, right there. going on there. Oh, let's see. It's all good. There we go.
No, I thought something was amiss. I broke a needle thread. So guess what that means? I'm going to have to go back, I think, and reseam how far back. <laughs> the entire seam. I knew it started off kind of funky in the beginning. I should have stopped and took a closer look. Oh well, it's okay. Okay, so Okay. So I'm going to rethread my needle. Raise that presser foot first. There we go. Get a good clean cut. Is now threaded. Okay. And we can redo this scene. It's doing like it's supposed to now. It's looking purdy. Purdy purdy. There we go. to go for this half. Just two more to go. Two more to go. And this would be a 50-50, so it doesn't matter which end I start with. Close them both exactly the same. Okay.
<laughs> just a little bit tired. That's all. Just a wee little bit. <laughs> Ooh wee. Speaking of tired, it's caffeine time. God, I'd hate to spill this cup of java on this beautiful cold top. Ugh, that was good. I needed that. Okay. Okay. Keep on surging on. Do 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 do. Keep on surging on. Do do de do de do. I'm so not funny. <laughs> and one more strip to go for this half. To be complete, and then I can join the two halves, and it's done. Quilt top number five, which should really be counted five and six, but we'll just count it as number five. <laughs> oh, I see feathers and bubbles and modified paisleys and just all kinds of fun things in this one. This will be a fun one to quilt. So the quarter inch at the top on this one. Oi, there we go. There and there. Okay. And we're off. Two more seams. And this puppy is complete. Okay, I just gotta cut you off because you're just dangling way too long. You got too many janglies. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Way to go, Donna. Woohoo! You go, girl. Okay. Or you so, girl. That's better. Now to join the two halves. 
and this one will be complete. Let's see here. Right there, I think. Right? Right. Right there. There's the two halves. That's a lot of weight. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It's time for more ibuprofen. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. The final seam on quilt top number five and six. No, I mean number five. Okay. Where's my foot pedal at? Come here, gas pedal. There you go. Okay. Okay. And here it goes. Behave. <laughs> That's right. Right here like this. You have to behave. Okay. It's a little better. I need a bigger table out this way to support this where to lay flatter as I'm sewing, but it is what it is. I need one of them big koala tables is what I need. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Getting close. It's been a lot to handle. There we go. A lot of bulk to handle it has. Yes, indeedy. I'm so close. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so close. Like another six or seven inches of sewing, and it's done. Except for a little trimming, but that'll happen later. I'm calling this puppy done. D O N E, done. Now, Okay, so two jelly rolls, one quilt top, okay, and there it is. Just grab it up like this, you'll be able to see it better, I think. 